I'm about to watch the Book of Boba Fett trailer. This is the first trailer because I just found out there's a second trailer, so I'm going to watch that. I saw the first trailer um, the day it came out, but um, I'm going to watch it again and tell you what I think. So I'm going to watch it, and when I have something to say, I will say it, but I will edit this to where you don't have to wait um, uh, until I say something, because I watch these reaction videos, and some of them, I don't understand why they have so many views. It's just people looking at their screen, and they don't do anything. They don't say anything. They don't do anything. They just kind of nod their head. So, eh, go figure. Anyway, I'm not bitter. Yes, I am. All right, so let me press play, and let's see the Book of Boba Fett trailer one. Yeah. Ooh, a spider. And that's that's a, a throwback to Return of the Jedi. The spider had a, a brain in it. That looked kind of digital. It has that Western motif. It, it's a Western motif, and, and what I clearly remember from this trailer, it, it, it's like becoming the Godfather. So, intend to rule with respect. So Boba Fett is like Don Corleone, and I'd rather say Don Corleone, because that's the proper way to pronounce it. But anyway, he's like Don Corleone, but uh, unlike the Godfather, uh, at least in Godfather Part 1, you don't see Don Corleone uh, being violent. Godfather 2, you do. Spoiler alert for Godfather. 1 and 2, anyway. Speak freely. Yeah, once again, like Don Corleone, he 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 will listen. But I'm it, but as it would be very boring if he didn't act upon um, the things that are going on. So I expect a lot of crime and a lot of betrayal and a whole lot of good stuff. And that's coming out December 29th. Wow, it's November 29th right now. It is a month from now. I cannot wait. I cannot wait. So let's see what the trailer 2 is all about if this is even a thing I don't know I am pro- hope I'm not being scammed on this let's see let's see alright gotta sit through this commercial 2, 1, 0 man okay Let's see if this is a fan trailer. Doesn't look like it. Nope. Similar to the the first one. I am Boba Fett. Oh, he sure is. The Book of Boba Fett, streaming December 29th, only on Disney+. Plus. Oh, so that was the teaser, and oh, I see what they did. Oh, it's one of these sites that uh, combines the teaser as well as the trailer. So, anyway, uh, yeah, looks good. I'm not gonna. I'm now. I'm scrolling while I'm trying to talk, but I'm not gonna do. Uh, I'm not gonna do a whole breakdown and Easter eggs and or any of that. I just don't have the time. Or the energy to do it, but I do respect the people who do do that. Um, so I am I'm very much looking forward to Book of Boba Fett. I'm not completely excited about the Book of Boba Fett, but I will be there to watch it, and I'm sure I will I will like it. It'll be one of those things that where it's like my expectations are a little low, but then again, uh, the Mandalorian was so good, and it has that Mandalorian vibe because Boba Fett's a Mandalorian. Um, so, so I think it's going to be very much like The Godfather. It, there's, I think there's going to be a lot of crime uh, drama involved, a crime story involved in it. Uh, but, you know, Tatooine style and the Outer Rim style, which sounds very dirty, by the way. Um, and, you know, intrigue and backstabbing and, and who wants to take the throne and constantly fighting for the throne and loyalties will be tested and all that. I do hope 
I do hope they explore. Well, one, I want to see him get out of the Sarlacc pit. Hopefully they, they get into that. But two, really explore his identity uh, issues. His identity as a Mandalorian. Is he a quote-unquote real Mandalorian because he was a clone? And then his relationship with his father, the fact that he never had a mother. Is he looking for a mother figure? Um, and just the trauma and violence that has been been his whole entire life so along with you know the the crime element i hope the human element is there as well so um i'll be looking forward to it along with all the other star wars stuff that's coming around i can't wait even bad star wars is good star wars and i hate bad star wars i'll watch bad star wars once and i go oh no i can't do it again and the only really really bad star wars after you know you know, there hasn't been some great Star Wars, but the, the one Star Wars I don't think I'll watch again is Rise of Skywalker because that that one that one hurt me. Uh, I, it just ugh, a lot of things I was against happened in Rise of Skywalker, and I don't want to revisit that at least not yet. But we'll see. Maybe down the road my opinion will change, even though I doubt it. But um, my opinion hasn't changed in The Mandalorian, um, and uh, The Book of Boba Fett is looking good. So, anyway, if you think this podcast is sounding good, um, and it's something you like to listen to, feel free to peruse the other ones. And um, you can also communicate with me on Twitter at MMAM Podcast. You can find me on Facebook at MMAM Podcast. You can email me at mmampodcast at gmail.com and write a review, Have a, share a good rating, share the podcast itself. That would be really, really cool. So that's it for me. Um, and it is November 29th, 2021. We are still in a pandemic. Um, please be careful out there. Wear your mask still. Get vaccinated. Get boosted. I got boosted last week. And I'm uh, all the better for it. And um, just be careful out there. And part of being careful is getting your information from credible sources, uh, especially the way things are changing so often. Um, so get get your information from places like the New York Times, BBC, NPR, USA Today, Washington Post, all really, really good sources of information um, to, uh, to guide your way in order for you to be safe in, and informed and knowledge is power. So please stay powerful. All right, everybody. Take care out there and, uh, I don't know, take care again. Bye.